Your outburst in court yesterday did catastrophic damage. Claire to got Johnny to bait me. And you played right hey, into her hands. Diane. What's the plan for damage control? I'm a lawyer, Jason. I'm not a magician. He showed the jury exactly how much he hates Claudia and wanted to see her dead. Claudia got Michael shot. Claudia, how many times I'm going to say this? Not, she's not on trial here. You are. If things keep going the way they're going, Claire's going to make a case for premeditated murder, and that is a life sentence, Sonny. This will work out so well, huh? Mm. Sonny's jury being sequestered in the very same hotel my offices are in. Sweetness, I'd crawl out of windows and jump over rooftops to be with you. This whole sneaking around thing has got me all. <laughs> Best thing about jury duty, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna need something to hold me over. You're number two. Good morning, Judge. Well, your Honor. <laughs> Later, baby. You're neither an athlete nor a politician. Means you need to keep your horse in the barn. You get my drift. Show appropriate restraint for the duration of the trial. Uh, I've never been much for self-denial, Your Honor. Then learn some. That's not a suggestion. That's an order. Or you'll have to live with castigatory repercussions. Is that contagious, Judge? We have to go to the courthouse now, where you will remain calm and silent and seated. Otherwise, Judge Carroll's got an orange jumpsuit and shackles waiting for you. All right, I admit. I lost it in court. I didn't know Christina was in the courtroom, okay? I, I look over She'll my shoulder. She'll recover, she Sonny. Trust that? me. She's got, it's going to be much easier to win back your daughter than the 12 people responsible. They don't her. matter to me. They should. Can you get the jury back on Sonny's side? Well, fortunately, Coleman has not managed to get himself dismissed off the jury yet, but he is one vote, Sonny. Coleman cannot acquit you alone. Our best chance of winning over the other jurors was to present Sonny as a loving father, uh, someone with no proven history of violence who was simply squaring off against his deranged wife, remind them over and over again that Sonny was trying to save an innocent woman and her newborn baby. Well, that went out the window yesterday when Sonny decided to give everyone a demonstration of a hot-tempered, abusive mobster who hated his wife, wanted to see her dead. Claudia was demented. She got Michael shot, a little boy put into a coma, then she took a pregnant woman hostage and was about to run away with a newborn baby and leave Carly to die. What did you expect me to do? Juries tend to sympathize with the woman in cases like this, especially when that woman ends up dead. Your patient with ventricular tachyarrhythmia is resting. Mrs. Anderson, yes, the harpist. The IV drug protocol must be working then. <laughs> well, if it wasn't for you, she'd be tuning the heart for the angels right about now. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> So, Sonny showed his true colors in court yesterday. Can we please not have this argument so she, again? She uh, told the jury that Claudia got what she deserved. Great, we're never going to have this argument again. Robin, Sonny bludgeoned his wife and he shot his son in the chest and somehow you think that's excusable. Are you even aware of the double standard you have when it comes to the people you love? Well, you know what? Look at it this way. Someday you might do something inexcusable which will require me to have the same unconditional acceptance of you. You Dr. Robin Scorpio? Scorpio Drake? You've been served. What is that for? I have no idea. I've been called as a witness to Sonny's trial. For whose side? You think you were talking? Lovely day, isn't it? Oh, we have never been better. Scent of spring flowers in the air. Smells like hope. Well, it smells more like victory to me. What? No smart-ass comeback from you? <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I pay my attorney for. 
Well, I must be doing better than I thought, unless you express yourself better with an axe handle. Oh, really? Just Is that the time the people are watching. All eyes, the District Court of the State of New York, City of Port Charles, Department 23. The Honorable Judge Peter Carroll presiding is now in session. Please be seated and come to order. I want both counsels and defense on notice there will be no repetition of yesterday's misbehavior. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin, I'd remind you that this proceeding is not reality television. He who makes the most trouble will not be voted off the island. Ms. Walsh, how would you like to continue? The prosecution recalls John Anthony Zakara. Do you feel that? That is why they call it a stomach appeal. Well, you don't have to do that. So your dad wanted me to work with you to follow up on Christina's attack. Did Claudia ever tell you she was afraid for her life? Many times. Let's move to the night of Claudia's birthday. The night she was bludgeoned to death and buried in the woods. Objection! Stain, get to the point, Miss Walsh. Did you attend your sister's birthday party? I did. I wasn't invited, but I showed up because I was concerned for Claudia. And where was the party held? At the Metro Court Hotel. And what do you recall of that night? Sonny went crazy on Claudia. Ripped into her in the middle of the whole party. According to witnesses, you were in a panic. Is that accurate? Yes, I wanted to get there in time to warn Claudia. Warn her about what? Sonny had just found out that Claudia was responsible for Michael, his son, being shot. I knew he was going to kill him. Objection, Your Honor, that's pure conjecture. you dismiss me from the stand? I just got to the part where Sonny wanted to kill my sister and you cut me off cold? You gave me what I needed. Okay, but the jury needs to hear what Sonny said to her that night. I said I got what I needed. You can go home now, all right? So that's it, huh? No, of course that's not it. You have to trust me. I'm going to get justice for your sister. I wonder why Clara Walsh stopped Johnny when she did. The jury didn't get to hear about your rant against Claudia. Miss Claire Walsh is deliberate about what she puts in, what she leaves out. So now you got me wondering, what's up? 